What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore. So, Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore is directed by David Yates, who has directed every single Harry Potter film or anything within the Wizarding Universe since The Order of the Phoenix in 2007, and he only directed one film in between all of those, which was The Legend of Tarzan in 2016. This film once again stars people like Eddie Redmayne, Jude Law, Ezra Miller, Dan Fogler, Mads Mikkelsen, which we will talk about in just one moment, uh, Caleb Turner, and is written by J.K. Rowling and Steve Kloves. And yeah, this is a film that I think it goes without saying was delayed many times due to things like the pandemic and the whole Johnny Depp Amber Heard situation. I won't go ahead and lean into that too much here in this video but for anybody who's not familiar of course there is legal issues going on between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard that have to do with abuse and so because of that they decided to remove Johnny Depp from the role of Grindelwald who was the titular character of the last film and the big reveal at the end of the first film. So they brought in Mads Mikkelsen to fill the role and I'll go ahead and start this off by saying there won't be spoilers for the story here but I do want to make something abundantly clear this is not a case of doing what they did with Colin Farrell becoming Johnny Depp and him kind of using his magic to hide himself in this movie this is 110% a recast and they treat Mad Mickelson's version of the character here as if it was the same version we were watching in the second film that Johnny Depp was playing so this is not a case of him using his magic to kind of hide what he looks like to kind of you know trick people and him being Mads Mikkelsen in this iteration of the character this is supposed to be a full-blown recast uh, which was a disappointing thing for me going into this movie which kind of is a overall kind of feel and vibe I have about this film I don't think this is a bad film by any stretch of the imagination but I was disappointed leaving the film there was a lot about this film that I found to be pretty hollow there's a lot of characters in here and there's a lot about it that feels rushed while also feeling slow at times and ultimately it just felt like there was way too many things they were trying to juggle in this film and nothing Nothing ever really had the time to breathe in my opinion there are so many characters in here and so many things they're trying to do new characters that are introduced older characters that are reintroduced and it just kind of feels like nobody ever really gets their big time to shine now that's not to say that absolutely no one does there are moments in this movie that definitely work and I would say some of the biggest praises I can give this film are the performances overall the action the visuals of the film overall that part of it definitely kept me engaged and entertained I wasn't bored while watching the film 100% but there were moments of the film where I was bored and there was elements to me thinking while I was watching it where is this going and what's really happening this film is over two hours and ultimately I just kind of feel like not much happened by the end of the film there are a couple things that have kind of been changed there are a couple of things that have really happened but we're kind of in a very similar place to where we were story-wise at the end of the second film which is an interesting thing going into this film as well because this film you know takes place a little bit after the events of the second film but in a lot of ways feels like it picks up up right after the second film and you may think well that sounds pretty good but for me since there has been a time gap it feels like these characters have kind of moved on and started doing different things and they all kind of get pulled into this adventure and it just feels very convenient how quick everybody just kind of comes together to deal with this situation of Grindelwald overall I found the film again to be entertaining in terms of its action and its overall feel and vibe the look David Yates knows how to direct a visually stunning film and he's directed some of the best films in the Harry Potter chronology and so watching this movie you know I know that he knows how to direct a film in this universe but ultimately I just found that the story was hollow there were a lot of characters again that were introduced in this film that are one note characters that honestly didn't have much to do didn't really have much to say and there are moments where I feel like the film wanted me to care more about them and their journey and I just ultimately did it by the time the movie was over I just felt like the story was really messy and there was a lot of characters again that just didn't get their time to shine and when they tried to wrap something up for a character or take another character in a different direction I kind of felt like a lot of times it just kind of felt rushed and unearned that is a real damn shame because I enjoyed the crimes of Grindelwald I didn't think it was amazing by no means was it in the top echelon of films in this franchise but I enjoyed it for what it was I enjoyed Fantastic Beasts way more than that and I could definitely say that for me these have just gotten a little bit worse with each installment not bad movies for me I I enjoy them all I enjoy being a part of this universe whenever you get that classic Harry Potter theme playing throughout the movie whenever you get to see the iconic imagery from this franchise it does give you those chills it does 
put a smile on your face. It does make you feel like a kid again. And so that element of this film, without a doubt, was definitely an amazing part. But that's really what this movie really held on to for me when it comes to something that was actually memorable. Now, the biggest standouts of this film, for sure, are Jude Law as Dumbledore. I think he's fantastic, and we saw that in the last film, but he's great here once again in the role. Uh, we also have people like Mads Mikkelsen, like I mentioned, playing Grindelwald, and I thought he brought a really great performance to the mix. But ultimately, again, I feel like the story around these characters never created something that was overly, overly compelling. And I found myself more invested in the very beginning portion of the film and the very last portion of the film, with the middle portion of the film being mainly action and a lot of convenient things that our characters are getting themselves in and out of. If you've seen the trailer of this movie, you know that we have a group of characters and like they actually say it in the trailer, you know, it's kind of unconventional group of characters that are going to take on one of the strongest wizards ever known. And one of the things I was the most disappointed by is they try to shroud their entire approach to fighting Grindelwald in mystery so much so that they separate the characters in huge portions of the film. And so there's so much time where these characters are not together, not on the adventure together. Maybe there's two of them together or one of them on their own. And ultimately, by the time the movie was over, I just didn't feel like it had the same charm and character development that we had seen just in the couple films prior where these characters were able to spend a little bit more time together. Ultimately, as well, I found myself in the middle portion of the film feeling like these characters were conveniently getting themselves in and out of situations. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty disappointed with what they did with the character of Credence in this film, played by Ezra Miller. Of course, there's a lot going on with Ezra Miller right now, but as far as this film goes and his performance, I thought he gave a good performance, but I just feel like his character was a much bigger deal in the last two films. And in this film, they kind of make him a huge deal while also sidelining him. And that's kind of how I felt about this film overall. There are things they want to make a big deal in the film, but it doesn't really feel like there's a full on focus on all of those elements. So by the time the movie comes to an end, there's just questions that you have in your head. And there are things that just feel like they got sidelined that were kind of made out to feel a little bit more important than they actually played out in the movie. Again, performances, top notch. Overall cinematography, visuals, action, and all that, top notch. I think if you're going for a good fantasy action adventure film, you're going to definitely get that. If you're a fan of the Harry Potter franchise, there's definitely things to enjoy here. But I think I would be lying to you if I said this is a completely cohesive, super strong narrative that is, you know, really impactful. In no way, shape, or form does this even come close to any of the other Harry Potter films, including the first Fantastic Beast film. I would say this is about on par with the last Fantastic Beast film, Crimes of Grindelwald, and that's a damn shame because I like that movie, but I was disappointed by that one and I found it to be a little bit messy. And unfortunately, you have another case of that going on right here. David Yates is a really great director, and honestly, at this point, I would love to see J.K. Rowling team with a different director, bring in a new, fresh pair of eyes to continue on with the last two installments if they continue to do these installments for Fantastic Beasts. I think ultimately, David Yates, I don't want to say, you know, he's kind of done what he can with this franchise, but I think it would be nice to have a different set of eyes directing the franchise at this point i think he's done incredible work with this franchise but yeah i think something different needs to happen here at this point because the narrative is just kind of messy and all over the place i will say though one thing that grew on me way more in this film that you know i enjoyed in the last film and i like that they added more of that here was caleb turner's character of theseus uh which is newt's brother in this franchise and i found that their time together i was really enjoying i think that newt scamander and theseus are, are just really cool characters i find that they have similarities while also having these vast differences in who they are and the two actors look a lot like brothers so ultimately it kind of is easier for you to lean in to this brother relationship that they have and, and i really enjoy the screen time that the two of them have together on screen even if it doesn't really feel that important to the story so that's going to be my thoughts on this film i haven't covered the harry potter films here on the channel yet but now i have covered the three fantastic beast films and what i could say is i think the first one is still the best one i think the second one gets messy and it's probably one of the weakest films in the entire of the wizarding world live action films and i would have to say that this definitely follows suit I almost want to say that I think I like Crimes of Grindelwald just a tad bit more, with this film having elements that I enjoy more than some of the events of Crimes of Grindelwald, but I just found that this film overall was just really all over the place, really messy, honestly. I just felt like it felt hollow, like a lot happened, but narratively, not that much happened. And I found myself bored halfway through, which is a damn shame. I found myself bored through the action because I felt like the action wasn't really amounting to much and the convenience kind of removed some of the stakes. You know, our characters would get into situations and they're just fine. You know, there really wasn't a huge sense of stakes. A character gets kidnapped and like 10 minutes later, you know, one of our characters already knows where they are, goes and saves them and sure, they 
they kind of have to run away from something but you just never feel like anybody's truly in danger as they're taking on the most dangerous wizard ever known you know so that's gonna be my thoughts on the movie can't wait to hear what you guys have to say hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video comment your thoughts subscribe for more videos you guys know how it goes and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye